Hello, my name is Fana. Welcome to the Self Compassion Channel. I am a certified coach and counselor, and I work with people in a limited episode and also with their partners. If you want my help in one on one coaching, please send me an email. The email address is in the description below. Now, limerence. We're going to talk about relapse patterns. When are we most likely to relapse? And is that such a really awful bad thing? Should we beat ourselves up when we do? No, of course not. And I'm going to explain to you why. My limerence, my big loving big hearted limerence. I noticed a pattern with my clients, my clients who are battling limerence. At one point, they are sick of the limerence. They are tired of the inconsistent interaction with the other and all they want is they want to get out. And when they go through the withdrawal, they feel the pain. They feel so bad. And the pain actually reminds them of why they are doing this. They want to get rid of the pain for once and for all. They want to go through this. They don't want this pain anymore. When most people relapse, and I use the word relapse, it sounds a little bit dramatic, but since we're kind of battling an addiction and we're breaking the addictive chain, let's call it relapse. It's when they are starting to feel better. After a few weeks or maybe a few months, the nerve system calmed down and the pain motivation is gone. And this is the moment when they feel like they have it all under control. It's not so bad. Maybe it wasn't so bad. Maybe I can try again. Maybe this time I can handle it. And they decide to dip their toe in the water to massively regret that a few days later. Because there was no proof that things would be different this time. And there's an actual goodness in this. We are people, we are humans. Of course, we have hope. Sometimes a little bit too much and too long, but it's a normal emotion. And where would we be without hope? In addictions, people relapse is part of the process. And detaching does not happen overnight. And cutting ties with somebody sometimes doesn't happen in one step. It goes in phases. I wish it could be so simple that our heart and our nerve system and rational mind, they are all in line, they synchronize and they think, oh, whenever something feels bad, um, we just cut the ties. We just decide to ban it out of our lives. We just detach. We just detach and never return. Good for you, that's really strong. Hooray! No, that's not how it works. Things don't work like that because our body and our nerve system don't work like that. Detaching should hurt. Relapsing is kind of a normal part of the process. The rational part of our brain is a whole different part than the part that reacts to emotions. And the subconscious, reflex, lizards part of our brain is a completely different part than the other two. Of course, they don't always synchronize. They're not the same. Does not mean that we cannot use our rational part because we're not at the mercy of our emotions. We can use our rational mind to choose. And as I always state, awareness creates choice. And having a choice gives you power. But, okay, back to the relapsing. Again, it's normal, we have hope. And I hope you can approach yourself with a whole lot of self-compassion instead of anger when this happens. I hope you don't beat yourself up when you relapse. We relapse, 
we go again, we relapse, we go again, maybe this time a little bit longer. Like I said, detaching does not happen overnight. There are even people who state that relapse is not so bad because you give your, your, your stressed out nerve system a little break, a little bit of peace. The only problem I have with relapsing too many times, um, besides that it really hurts, is that sometimes you can create this push and push and pull dynamic with the other person. And if the other person is also doing it to you, you can mistake that for a really special kind of bond. Like, oh, I cannot let go of this person. This person can also not let go of me. We are so Romeo and Juliet. Poor us. It's so romantic. Well, it sounds a little bit more toxic to be caught up in this push and pull dynamic. And there is nothing romantic about a limerent episode. It fucking hurts. So, long story short. We relapse when we start to feel a little bit better. It's normal, um, it's better not to, but okay, don't beat yourself up. We are humans, it's part of the process. You pick yourself up and you go again. And never judge yourself for being human. If you want my help in one-on-one -on -one coaching, please send me an email. And for now, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. And I really hope to see you in another video. Bye.